next morning, they had put the pieces together, and they knew that it was Ted. I can't tell you the number of times that I decided I wasn't going to help him anymore, but I got drawn back in because the death penalty was looming. I've never been able to rationalize why he went to Florida when I told him that was one of the places you would get the death penalty, but I don't know. I think it's more that Ted liked playing the game. He liked playing the game with authority, but it still doesn't explain why he ends up in Florida. Nobody thought anybody could get a plea bargain for Ted Bundy. It's like getting a plea bargain for the devil, but we did. Miller Farmer and I worked with prosecutors in Florida, Colorado, Utah, and Washington. The understanding was that if he pled guilty and we had a life without parole sentence in Florida, then the other states would stop prosecuting him. The first response we got was laughter. We had to soften them up and say, no, we're serious. And that took probably two months. Now, Ted would have to plead guilty and say he was actually the Ted. But it was very difficult to get Ted to admit he did anything wrong. It was an interesting week or so because Miller and I decided we were going to deprive Ted of sleep. <laughs> so I spent five hours with Ted, and I'd go back to the hotel. And then Miller would come in and spend five hours with Ted. So we basically wore Ted down, and he finally signed the paperwork. We were walking into court to do it, and Part of the deal with the prosecutors was nobody was going to alert the media. We were just going to do it. And obviously, the prosecutors were the police, more likely, contacted the media. So it was a media circus at the courthouse. Level check. One, two, two three. three. That really pissed off Ted. And Ted walks into the courtroom and sees all the media and all this stuff. Turns around to me and says, I'm not going to do it. We got a court order that you, there won't be any press interviews. Sure there won't be any press interviews. You've given them out. I'm, I'm gagged, you're not. Okay. The counter will read your I'll right. be heard. We went back into the holding cell, and he tore up his copy of the statement of defendant on plea of guilty form. I don't think I was angry as much as disappointed, because we had really worked to get the impossible. Miller put his leg up on a chair in the holding cell and said to Ted, Ted, me and John Henry only have so much time in this life and uh, we're going to spend it helping people that really want to live. Bye. And Miller never got involved in it again.